You know, subjects get uh, reputations as being difficult. Mm -hmm. And I think possibly one of the problems, and I'm talking purely about science now, is that the schools don't pay a lot of attention to the science at grade 8 and 9. They tend to think the real science starts in grade 10, 11 and 12. And, um, I mean, I've seen particularly township schools. When I go out to watch my students teach, and, you know, I remember one, one school in particular, they had the grade 8 and 9s all on one side of the school, and the 10, 11, 12s on the other. The other side where the 10, 11s and 12s were was quite organised and reasonably quiet. And the grade 8 and 9 side was chaos. And they didn't even bother teaching the kids after lunch because they said they were too naughty. So, I mean, that means that they don't even think what they're doing with the grade 8 and 9s is important because it's not going to be examined in matric. So there's a problem, and this, this is a mindset of a lot of teachers, not just in South Africa, is that you only teach what's going to be asked in the exam. As far as learning science at the tertiary level is concerned, I think the most important thing is to seek understanding rather than memorising. If they're too much up in the air, I would recommend them taking a gap year mm -hmm. and getting some experience in various types of employment, volunteering in different kinds of offices to find out what, what it's all about before they make a decision. Because making a decision to go to university is A, expensive, and be a commitment to a lot of work. And you find people, a lot of people may register for a year in one program, find they don't like it, and move into something else.